Hello, this is a tutorial on how to use inverse kinematic in Godot. Here I have created a really simple weapon management system where each weapon has its own target for inverse kinematic and this means that the character left hand will change its pose according to the weapon. Let's play the scene. Here I have this weapon that is attached to the right hand of this character and the left hand as this pose according to the position uh, of target of this weapon when I, when, uh, I change the weapon also the pose of the left arm will change according to the target of the other weapon and this is how it looks like using inverse kinematic in fact you always can have the right uh, the right pose without implementing uh, at runtime without implementing proper animation for each weapon. Okay, now I want to show you how to use inverse kinematic. Uh, in order to do that, I have uh, duplicated my character scene and called it character two. Uh, the the scene is composed by a skeleton uh, and its own mesh, and this is how it looks like. And also, I have an animation player. Uh, and uh, it plays just a uh, weapon holding ok now the first things that I want to do is to uh, attach a bone attachment to the right end ok like this also I want to attach a special node and under the special node I want to attach the mesh I want to attach the mesh of of my weapon. Let me let me take it. Okay, perfect. It's it is a bit larger, but let me scale it. 0 0.2, I think. Okay, it should be fine. Now what you have to do is to change the orientation of the rifle in order to in order to put it in the right position okay it should be fine more or less now okay now under this special node I want to add a position 3D this position 3D uh, will be my target node of skeleton inverse kinematic. So I want to put this, uh, this under the uh, under the weapon itself. Okay. Now let me assert, let me fix the position of the weapon in this way. So the weapon should be attached correctly to the right hand now. Uh, yeah, more or less. Okay. Perfect. This is my weapon. This is the character. Uh, okay. Let me go in the level. Uh, let me change the character ok, character through, perfect now when I play this scene you can see that the left hand is not attached correctly to the weapon ok, now let's add the inverse kinematic in order to fix the pose of the left arm uh, with, the, with the weapon the first things that I want to do is to add a skeleton inverse kinematic. Okay, and now I want to set the root bone where the inverse kinematic sh should start. That is my left arm, okay, and tip bone that in my case is left hand. Perfect. Interpolation one, okay, and the target node I want to set the position 3D of my weapon. Now, if I if I click the skeleton inverse kinematic and I set and uh, I start to play the inverse kinematic, you can see that uh, in this moment 
uh, the, the left arm pose is matching more or less the position of the, of the weapon. In order to fix the hand, that is the tip bone, you have to change the orientation you have to change the orientation of the hand uh, of the target position and you can and you can see that in this moment the the inverse kinematic uh, is still uh, uh, working and also the pose will change okay i think that it is fine more or less you can change the, the orientation, the position of the node uh, in the way that you think it's better. So when you now that's it, the position 3D node, orientation and position is fine for me. So the skeleton inverse kinematics is applied and already works. When you st when you click the play button here, you can see that the left arm uh, will fit co correctly. Uh, this weapon okay but now if I play the scene you can see that the left arm is not uh, as not the correct pose and this is because the animation player uh, should be start the skeleton inverse kinematic in order to do it I go to the animation player add track call method track and select skeleton inverse kinematic here I want to insert a key and start and uh, call the start function and also insert another key to stop the, the function that's it when well, now you start the, the scene you can see that that the pose of left arm is correctly also, I have created. Uh, uh, you can add another another constraint to the skeleton inverse kinematic uh, by using this magnet. For example, uh, suppose that you want to to change the position of this elbow, and uh, to do it, you can uh, have, you can set two on a use magnet and change the and change this vector. And uh, by changing the, the position of this magnet, you can change also the orientation of the elbow. Basically, what mag magnet does is to um, uh, is to attract the the middle uh, the the middle of the chain that go from the uh, arm to the to the hand uh, attract to him. So. For example, if you uh, set the magnet uh, y uh, too too high, you you can see that the elbow go uh, towards the hub. Also, if you change the x-axis to be uh, from that uh, that side, the 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 positive side, you can see that the elbow go go from the positive side. Uh, if you set a negative uh, a negative uh, value you can see that the elbow go in the opposite direction and this is really really useful things okay that's it that's it how to use inverse kinematic and uh, also f feel free to to share this video uh, you can find you will find this uh, project on the on description. Thank you. Bye bye.